Hey folks, welcome to the 30 in 5 on 560 WIND.com. I am Mike North. I am your able-bodied anchor man every single day here on this wonderful website. Don't forget John and Amy in the morning, Steve Cochran in the afternoon. Hey, U.S. Supreme Court has decided they will hear the health care case that Attorney General Bill McComb, former Attorney General of Florida, uh, brought forth to the Supreme Court. It will fight against Barack Obama's health care laws. Now, here's the deal. It's not a slam dunk because the Supreme Court could rule in place of Obama, but there's 25 other states that are involved if in case they do not decide uh, rightfully, as far as they're concerned, on this case. We'll keep an eye on that. Now, there's a lot of sports involved today, but not really on the field all that much. Uh, Joe Frazier, in a private ceremony, will be laid to rest today. Uh, the former heavyweight champion of the world who knocked Muhammad Ali on his rear end at one time and also defeated him, will be laid to rest uh, in uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, Muhammad Ali... Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes, and other boxing champions and dignitaries are going to be there. That is a testament to Joe Frazier. There's going to be a lot of people there, including Floyd Mayweather, I understand. guy like that. They weren't even around when he was a boxer. But see, boxing's got that rich history, and it's like baseball. Uh, baseball, boxing, and then the rest. You can look back. You can look at the fights. You can see those fights. All you have to do to love the sport of boxing which has taken a hit lately, is to watch the Ali Frazier trilogy. That's all you have to do. May Joe Frazier rest in a peace. I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare, you got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it. In other news, in Penn State news, boy, you know what? Uh, this week I'll be on Fox Radio. We're not going to talk a whole lot about this. We'll give everybody information that comes out. I think last week was a rough week for everybody, but it's only it's going to get even rougher for this young lady, a judge, Leslie Dutchcat, who reportedly uh, worked for the Second Mile uh, Foundation, of which Jerry Sandusky ran. She's the one that let him out in $100,000 bail. So this thing is just going to get worse and worse and worse. Let me remind everybody, too, in case people were tuning in last week, Joe Paterno did not actually rape the kid. It was Jerry Sandusky. I know what everybody's... If you had just come out like four days ago, all you would have seen is Paterno's picture, his name, 10 to 1 to Sandusky's over the weekend. Is that right, folks? I'm not sure. I know this. Paterno's paid the price. They showed him coming home last night, slumped in the back seat so nobody would see him. That's what it's come down to. So he's in his own little prison. Now it's time to get Sandusky on the front page. Also, the BCS. Now let me ask you a question. Boise State falls out. Oh, there goes my pen. I'm so mad. Boise State falls out into the top 10. They're into the top 10. Alabama, who missed four field goals, is third now. Okay, how about this? They're talking about Alabama in a rematch should Oklahoma State lose, and I don't know if they're going to lose or not, or in a rematch, Oregon against LSU, if LSU goes undefeated. They beat them both already. They beat them both already. We don't want to see that. Please, Oklahoma State, run the table, because Stanford and Boise State, which means I have no dog in the fight anymore, uh, did not get the job uh, done. Dos Santos, yes, who is this? If you're Fox and you're Dana White, and you decided that you want to see UFC fighting on a major channel, this is the worst thing that could happen. Even though they did okay numbers, the fight was over in a minute and 40 seconds, and this guy, Vasquez, was supposed to be the best guy in the planet, got hit once in the ear and fell down. You know how many times the nuns cracked me in the ear and I kept standing? Come on. This is supposed to be the toughest guy in the planet. Fight lasted a minute 40 into the first round. That's not what you want to do when you're promoting something for free on a major network like Fox. That being said, it's a tough sport, ladies and gentlemen. It's about as bad as it can be. Hey, tonight, Green Bay, minus 13 and a half. The bookie priest told me to tell you guys to take Green Bay. The Chicago Bears... They're on fire, ladies and gentlemen. They've won four in a row. Lovey Smith could be up for coach of the year again. And the weather today, it's raining here in Chicago. Check things out around where you're at around the country. Hope you've enjoyed the 30 and 5. I'm Mike North, 560WIND.com.
Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships, and the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.